on today's episode of At The D-Spot, a deliciously refreshing pineapple-infused vodka that packs a punch. Let's go. This super simple drink recipe is surely gonna make everybody love it. For a full list of ingredients, be sure to check the description box below. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut all the skin off of our pineapples and then we're gonna chop our pineapple up into pieces. So we have taken the skins off of our six pineapples and now it's time to chop them up. I like to chop mine into cubes. You could do it in slices or however you like. The pineapples are just gonna go into the infusion jar so it doesn't matter. This recipe was inspired by the Stoli Doli cocktail from the Capitol Grill. I tried it, I fell in love with it, and after a few failed attempts, I finally got my recipe right and now I'm sharing it with you. Once you slice up your pineapple, it's time to add it to your infusion jar. And there you have it, everyone. That is the hardest part of this recipe, cutting up the pineapple. Now, it's time to add the vodka. You can use any type of vodka that you want for this recipe. I personally like to use Kettle Warren, but any vodka will work. Okay everyone, so we have chopped our pineapple, we added it to the infusion jar, and we've added our two half gallons of vodka to our container. Now, the real hard part of this recipe is gonna happen now, which means you have to close this up and it has to sit for 30 days. Yes, I know, we want it right away, but in order for it to be sweet and delicious, we need for it to sit for 30 days. What I do is every week, once a week, I will open it up. I will kind of give it a little bit of a stir, seal it back up and put it back. So we'll be back in 30 days. Okay, everyone, we are back. Our pineapple infused vodka has been sitting for 30 days. I actually let mine sit for 40 days because I wanted to get extra juicy and sweet and I can't wait to try it. Once your pineapple vodka is ready, you're gonna strain it into a pitcher and you can squeeze all the juice out of the pineapple bits. I do not recommend you eating the pineapple bits because they're very bitter. My favorite way to enjoy this pineapple infused vodka is just in a straight up pineapple martini. So you fill your martini shaker with ice, add some of your pineapple infused vodka. And now we pour. Perfect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some guava nectar and make a pineapple guava teeny. So you take your pineapple vodka, guava nectar, give it a shake, and we pour. Next, we're gonna make a pineapple pear martini. So we take our pineapple vodka, add it to our shaker. We're gonna add a few ounces of pear nectar and give it a shake. And then we pour. Now we're gonna make a classic tropical drink. We're gonna make a Bay Breeze. So we're gonna take our pineapple vodka, cranberry and voila now it's time to give our anxiously awaited pineapple vodka a try ah. 
oh my gosh, this is so refreshing. You do not even know that you are drinking straight up vodka. So be very careful with this. It is so delicious, so refreshing. It's just really nice and juicy. It's a good mix. It's not too sweet. If you like your things on the very sweet side, you can add sugar um, while it's curing or you can add pineapple juice. I don't like my, my stuff super sweet. This has got the perfect amount of sweetness to it. This is outstanding. Let's give it another shot. Mmm, tastes like summer. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Danny, you're at the D Spot, and remember, be good to one another. We're all connected. Until next time, salud. This is dangerous.